Chapter 15. Hermetic Axioms. The possession of knowledge, unless accompanied by a manifestation and expression in action, is like the hoarding of precious metals, a vain and foolish thing. Knowledge, like wealth, is intended for use. The law of use is universal, and he who violates it suffers by reason of his conflict with natural forces. The Kybalian. The Hermetic teachings, while always having been kept securely locked up in the minds of the fortunate possessors thereof, for reasons which we have already stated, were never intended to be merely stored away and secreted. The law of use is dwelt upon in the teachings, as you may see by reference to the above quotation from the Kybalian, which states it forcibly. Knowledge without use and expression is a vain thing, bringing no good to its possessor, or to the race. Beware of mental miserliness, and express into action that which you have learned. Study the axioms and aphorisms, but practice them also. We give below some of the more important hermetic axioms, from the Kybalian, with a few comments added to each. Make these your own, and practice and use them, for they are not really your own until you have used them. To change your mood or mental state, change your vibration. The Kybalian. One may change his mental vibrations by an effort of will, in the direction of deliberately fixing the attention upon a more desirable state. Will directs the attention, and attention changes the vibration. Cultivate the art of attention, by means of the will, and you have solved the secret of the mastery of moods and mental states. To destroy an undesirable rate of mental vibration, put into operation the principle of polarity and concentrate upon the opposite pole to that which you desire to suppress. Kill out the undesirable by changing its polarity. The Kybalian. This is one of the most important of the hermetic formulas. It is based upon true scientific principles. We have shown you that a mental state and its opposite were merely the two poles of one thing, and that by mental transmutation the polarity might be reversed. This principle is known to modern psychologists, who apply it to the breaking up of undesirable habits by bidding their students concentrate upon the opposite quality. If you are possessed of fear, do not waste time trying to kill out fear, but instead cultivate the quality of courage, and the fear will disappear. Some writers have expressed this idea most forcibly by using the illustration of the darkroom. You do not have to shovel out or sweep out the darkness, but by merely opening the shutters and letting in the light the darkness has disappeared. To kill out a negative quality, concentrate upon the positive pole of that same quality, and the vibrations will gradually change from negative to positive, until finally you will become polarized on the positive pole instead of the negative. The reverse is also true, as many have found out to their sorrow, when they have allowed themselves to vibrate too constantly on the negative pole of things. By changing your polarity you may master your moods, change your mental states, remake your disposition, and build up character. Much of the mental mastery of the advanced hermetics is due to this application of polarity, which is one of the important aspects of mental transmutation. Remember the hermetic axiom, quoted previously, which says, Mind, as well as metals and elements, may be transmuted from state to state, degree to degree, condition to condition, pole to pole, vibration to vibration. The Kybalian. The mastery of polarization is the mastery of the fundamental principles of mental transmutation or mental alchemy, for unless one acquires the art of changing his own polarity, he will be unable to affect his environment. An understanding of this principle will enable one to change his own polarity, as well as that of others, if he will but devote the time, care, study and practice necessary to master the art. The principle is true but the results obtained depend upon the persistent patience and practice of the student. Rhythm may be neutralized by an application of the art of polarization. The Kybalian As we have explained in previous chapters, the hermitists hold that the principle of rhythm manifests on the mental plane as well as on the physical plane, and that the bewildering succession of moods, feelings, emotions, and other mental states, are due to the backward and forward swing of the mental pendulum which carries us from one extreme of feeling to the other. The Hermitists also teach that the law of neutralization enables one, to a great extent, to overcome the operation of rhythm in consciousness. As we have explained, there is a higher plane of consciousness, as well as the ordinary lower plane, 
and the master by rising mentally to the higher plane causes the swing of the mental pendulum to manifest on the lower plane, and he, dwelling on his higher plane, escapes the consciousness of the swing backward. This is affected by polarizing on the higher self, and thus raising the mental vibrations of the ego above those of the ordinary plane of consciousness. It is akin to rising above a thing, and allowing it to pass beneath you. The advanced hermitist polarizes himself at the positive pole of his being, the I am pole rather than the pole of personality, and by refusing and denying the operation of rhythm, raises himself above its plane of consciousness, and standing firm in his statement of being he allows the pendulum to swing back on the lower plane without changing his polarity. This is accomplished by all individuals who have attained any degree of self-mastery, whether they understand the law or not. Such persons simply refuse to allow themselves to be swung back by the pendulum of mood and emotion, and by steadfastly affirming the superiority, they remain polarized on the positive pole. The master, of course, attains a far greater degree of proficiency, because he understands the law which he is overcoming by a higher law, and by the use of his will he attains a degree of poise and mental steadfastness almost impossible of belief on the part of those who allow themselves to be swung backward and forward by the mental pendulum of moods and feelings. Remember, always, however, that you do not really destroy the principle of rhythm, for that is indestructible. You simply overcome one law by counterbalancing it with another, and thus maintain an equilibrium. The laws of balance and counterbalance are an operation on the mental as well as on the physical planes, and an understanding of these laws enables one to seem to overthrow laws, whereas he is merely exerting a counterbalance. Nothing escapes the principle of cause and effect, but there are many planes of causation, and one may use the laws of the higher to overcome the laws of the lower. The Kybalian by an understanding of the practice of polarization, the hermitists rise to a higher plane of causation and thus counterbalance the laws of the lower planes of causation. By rising above the plane of ordinary causes they become themselves, in a degree, causes instead of being merely caused. By being able to master their own moods and feelings, and by being able to neutralize rhythm, as we have already explained, they are able to escape a great part of the operations of cause and effect on the ordinary plane. The masses of people are carried along, obedient to their environment, the wills and desires of others stronger than themselves, the effects of inherited tendencies, the suggestions of those about them, and other outward causes, which tend to move them about on the chessboard of life like mere pawns. By rising above these influencing causes, the advanced hermitists seek a higher plane of mental action, and by dominating their moods, emotions, impulses and feelings, they create for themselves new characters, qualities and powers, by which they overcome their ordinary environment, and thus become practically players instead of mere pawns. Such people help to play the game of life understandingly, instead of being moved about this way and that way by stronger influences and powers and wills. They use the principle of cause and effect, instead of being used by it. Of course, even the highest are subject to the principle as it manifests on the higher planes, but on the lower planes of activity, they are masters instead of slaves. As the Kybalian says, The wise ones serve on the higher, but rule on the lower. They obey the laws coming from above them, but on their own plane, and those below them, they rule and give orders. And, yet, in so doing, they form a part of the principle, instead of opposing it. The wise man falls in with the law, and by understanding its movements he operates it instead of being its blind slave. Just as does the skilled swimmer turn this way and that way, going and coming as he will, instead of being as the log which is carried here and there, so is the wise man as compared to the ordinary man, and yet both swimmer and log, wise man and fool, are subject to law. He who understands this is well on the road to mastery. The Kybalian In conclusion let us again call your attention to the Hermetic Axiom. True Hermetic Transmutation is a Mental Art The Kybalian In the above axiom, the Hermetists teach that the great work of influencing one's environment is accomplished by mental power. The universe being wholly mental, it follows that it may be ruled only by mentality. And in this truth is to be found an explanation of all the phenomena and manifestations of the various mental powers which are attracting so much attention and study in these earlier years of the 20th century. 
back of and under the teachings of the various cults and schools, remains ever constant the principle of the mental substance of the universe. If the universe be mental in its substantial nature, then it follows that mental transmutation must change the conditions and phenomena of the universe. If the universe is mental, then mind must be the highest power affecting its phenomena. If this be understood then all the so-called miracles and wonderworkings are seen plainly for what they are. The all is mind, the universe is mental. The Kybalian. Finest.